So in the meantime, we're gonna run this cable for the backup camera. So let's go. So this part's gonna stay here. So all I have to do is run this big old cable all the way to the back. Okay guys, first thing I think we wanna do, let's see if we can take this panel off. There's two screws holding it, two Phillips. All right, got the screws out. Now we should be able to pop this guy off. I don't know if you see this metal piece right here, it gets hooked up right in here, so make sure you take it off. Okay guys, you know what, let's take this uh, the OBD reader off. You should, I should be able to, to push it from this side here. There we go. It's on clip, then twist this guy up. Now we can run the cable. Okay. Okay guys, so I got the long cable. Now it's routing, zip tying, and so on. All the cable is run, I'm gonna zip, put a couple zip tie in there, just to make sure the, uh, the wires stay put so it's not touching anything. So let's do that now. All right guys, the cable is ran. It comes out of the, the center the center where the radio is. It's already tied, everything is tied up. Now I can put this cover back. I'm not going back here anymore. So let's put this guy back. So it should snap right in. All right, and then the bulb, the light, it's a little twisted. I'll change that light bulb later on. Okay. Now we can put it back. Put the two screws that hold it. That's it. Now guys, we need to take this out and run the cable through this, uh, the, this pillar here. Okay. All right. Okay, push it this way and out, okay? Then I can run my cable now underneath the puppet. I'm gonna add a few zip ties just to make sure my cable stay put. I'm gonna push the cable underneath here. Trying to push it to go to the, the, the back. Let's go to the back. Take this out the same way. Let me grab my panel removal tool. Okay, I lift the seat up a little bit just so I get a little bit of leg room to take this guy off. Now, let me run my cable underneath this. Uh, just push the cable all the way underneath it. I don't need to take it off. I just need to go all the way underneath it. So the counter carpet the same way. Push, push in and out. Right. I need a couple zip tie guys. So guys, what I did, do you guys see this metal piece right here? I don't want to pull it out too much. You see this metal? So I, I went to the back, pushed this to the, it has a hook. So I'm going to hook the cable to it. I don't see where the seats fold out, so I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to use my metal rod right here to pull the cable all the way to the back for the trunk. Let me double check, make sure I didn't pull this out too much. Okay guys, I still have room to pull the, the, the wire. So now it's just, Tie it really nicely. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try to go to the trunk and pull it slowly. Okay, I just pulled this back a little. There was only one pop clip here. Pull the pop clip, pull this back. Now I'm gonna pull the, the, the metal piece. Let's try it again. Okay, I got the cable. Now I'm gonna zip tie it following this big cable over here. And then we'll finish the rest. Uh, we'll start again back tomorrow. I don't have any more daylight. Let me take uh, the tape out now. This worked out perfect. Whoo, jeez. Almost there, guys. Okay. We can definitely pull this guy back. Pull the clip back here. Not going back here anymore. Let's put the other clip on the top there. Okay. Cable is run. We'll resume tomorrow. Let's finish the door jams and then call it a day, a day, call it a night. Okay, guys, cable is run all the way to the back. Don't forget, put the carpeting back. Put this cover back. There's a clip right here that goes up this way. Okay, so now you should be able to make it easier, easier to clip, clip that thing in. Okay, that's done. Let's go to the front one. Gotta make sure you put the uh, carpet into the clip. Okay, the carpet is clipped in. Now we can put this guy back again. Okay guys, so we'll resume tomorrow and then uh, keep going, all right? So it's a couple of days later. So now we're finally gonna work on the uh, camera. We've been having some really cold and rainy days. So I wasn't able to work on the camera. So now it's a better day. Let's go. Okay guys, so I'm gonna run my cable through here. So we gotta pop this thing off first and then we gotta take this black thing off as well. So let's pop these. Usually they work backward. You gotta push them in and trying to there we go and then you pull the cable and it pops out now guys let's take all the pop clips off okay now i got them all So guys, this is my uh, cable. The backup light is right here, but this part gotta be run all the way up here. Follow this line here, and it's gonna come up right in the middle up here. So first thing I wanna do, guys, we gotta, we gotta take off this trim right here so I can properly mount the camera on it. So let me do that. All right, guys, I see there's a 210 and some couple clips. So let me take the 10s out first. To be able to push the clip up there we go you gotta push the clips up i guess i have to take these other two guys off too yeah let me take them off guys i gotta pop out the lights guys Let's unplug them first. Okay, now we we'll should be able to talk them out. Okay. Uh 
all right guys i got it so you do have to take these two screws out okay this is the camera we're gonna install this is it all right so we're gonna install it on this guy so basically we're gonna install it right here just like that let me double check all right guys so i'm just trying to figure out how to install the camera nope like that camera is gonna be mounted like this right in the middle i've got it now so now let me double check now guys i gotta make two small holes to attach the camera give me a sec line up the camera okay gonna make two little holes two scratches so i know where to make my holes all right i got two little holes or two little scratches i'm gonna go get my drill i'll be right back so i'm gonna make two tiny holes i'm gonna make them smaller here are my little screws this is yeah this is 116 okay ready i got my little line that i already made he's got to drill it guys all right let's drill now let's see how this looks oh this is good this look really good all right let me go check it in the car real quick i'll be right back i'm just gonna go like this that looks good i like it let's go put the camera on All right, guys, tighten this one too. Okay, let's do one more test so you guys can see what it's gonna look like. Just gonna make a notch here so it's easier to use my drill. So I'm gonna just drill a hole right here. Okay, guys, so see, the cable's gonna be perfectly right in there. Okay. So let's go take a look guys and see where we need to drill a hole for the cable to go through. All right guys, I'm just trying to figure out because I need an extra hole to run my cable and I want to make sure it's not in the way of this the lock. If I drill a hole right up here, it should be perfectly fine. So I'm just going to mark it. I need to drill a hole big enough where this thing is going to slide through. All right. Okay, this is the perfect size. Let's make a smaller hole first, guys, just to be safe. Let's go, guys. See, it's a thin metal, so it went through. Now, I know it's not gonna go through. I just needed to make a pilot hole. Test it again. It goes through. Let's try the other one, guys. Alright guys, um, I bought this, uh, I got this little kit that I'm using, it's from Amazon, so I'll put the link in the description down below. It looks like I found a size that fits, uh, 716, it fit the, um, the rubber through this, through the cables. Now guys, feed the cables through here. Now we can put the little rubber grommet in there. Oh, looks good, right guys? You see it? Right in there. And then we can put this guy back. This is supposed to go in like this. Okay guys. I need to make another little cut right in here for the cables. All 
All right, that looks good, right, guys? And then we'll, we'll angle this guy a little bit later. But that looks really good. Okay, so now we lift the trunk up. We can attach this guy. Now I'm gonna go and try to line up the um, keyhole. Now put the two nuts that holds it, guys. Oh, where am I? Okay, guys. Now let's tight. Let's tighten it. Okay, that's good. Now we put the other two. Okay. As you can see, guys, cable is right here. Now I have to get my other cable to start running this guy. Let me show you the final look. All right, guys, I finally got it installed. It took me a little bit. Uh, yeah, take a look straight. I I can adjust the camera this way or that way a little bit so i left a little room but this is back in place looks beautiful now what i need to do let's open it up and then we're gonna do the cabling i didn't show you this part guys but this is the part that come with the camera i just made my own cable a long cable because this wasn't long enough to go all the way to where the the backup is so Take this out. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna test it. Let's plug this guy in here. This other guy in here. Then I, I have to take this li the light out so I can get the I can get to where the backup is. I need to get in here, that's where the, the cable is gonna go. So let me pop this clip off. And this other clip is already off. So just pull this back and then this is the cabling right here, like you can see. 